Welcome to Wings Club Dissected, a segment in which I carve into specific topics regarding the aforementioned show and see what the hell is going on. In this edition, we will take a look at the dual transformations featured exclusively in Season 5, because apparently one transformation wasn't bringing enough money on Dulcie's revenue, Harmonix and Cyrenix. To properly do so, we will split this section into different categories and examine them individually. The grounds we will cover are looks, spells, transformation sequence, and team song. So without further ado, let's cut the spider up. Both transformations are water themed but obviously radically different in their design. Harmonix is elegant and flowy while Cyrenix is more edgy and avant-garde. However, they have both been extensively criticized by the fans for not having enough variety when it comes to each fairy's outfit. Now when you look at Harmonix, it doesn't really scream water fairies. In fact, there aren't any ocean-based designs in the costumes at all other than the seashell hat pieces they sport. The dresses don't really look all that much alike to me, but they do all follow the same pattern. Top piece with some peekaboo ruffle somewhere, the neatly layered skirt, the long renegade bride trains behind them, and the super high heeled shoes with those long decorative strings. How the hell they swim in those is beyond me. But still, regardless of the fact that it's not the smartest choice when it comes to combat wear, I think Harmonix looks great. Each girl, except for Tecna, has her own custom made ponytail, which only adds to the beauty. Aesthetically, Harmonix is one of the best looks the fairies have had and the first in years to actually give Enchantix a run for its money. The designs are simple yet intricate without any over-the-top spectacle, making it a very neat and glamorous fairy form. Choosing to go with pastel colors instead of the usual darker shade was an excellent idea. The colors are bright and really pop out. Next to each other, each fairy stands out and shines in her own right. The smaller, less attention-grabbing wings were also a nice touch, especially after the cinema screens the girls had on their back in their Belivix form. To me, Harmonix was on point with the looks. Cyrenix, on the other hand, is a bit more on the money when it comes to water themed looks. Having a wetsuit inspired design with a top with sometimes odd looking cutouts, finish with fins on those look at me leggings, and depending on the art, scales. Now, Cyrenix definitely looks more badass than Harmonix and definitely seems to be more practical. I was defending Cyrenix for looking cooler than Harmonix based on the stock art. However, all of that changed when I saw it on the show. Cyrenix really looks similar in each girl. Make them all the same color and you take longer to see the difference. Let's face it, Cyrenix is that ugly baby that you have to turn around a lot before you can find a good angle and say it's cute. Cyrenix looks awful on screen. Everything about it feels wrong and it's all because of the very lazy way it's presented to us. The CGI version kinda saves it but does not make up for the very poorly way that it's crafted for the show. I can't even point out what exactly is the matter with it. Maybe it's the cutouts that seem to deform the girls' bodies, or the hairstyles that look like Edward Scissorhands trying to give a razor cut with a kitchen knife, or the absolutely mortifying overskirt that seemed like somebody just made some random doodle drawing in paint, color the insides and copy paste them over the character's scratch. The wings I understand are supposed to resemble seashells, but I certainly don't see it. They just look like a kindergarten project gone wrong. And what the hell with the hair color change? Obviously another device for the dolls, this ended up being one of the most annoying things of season 5. Harmonix had very few spells, but those few were some of the best and most original spells out of the whole series. I'm talking about stuff like Dragon's Embrace, one of Bloom's most impressive spells to date. Shining Mirror, where Stella summons an actual mirror to counterattack her opponent with her own attack. Aisha's Mystic Wrap, that piece of morphic spring rope thingy that can tie up her enemy or just whip their asses. Tecna's X-Ray Vision, been waiting for that one for a while. Muses reverberating notes, or even better, her diapason. Harmonic spells were awesome. They weren't overly cheesy named and the animation of the attacks were actually quite awesome to watch. Good job, Harmonix. Cyrenix though... Oh. Some of the names were nicely done, such as Nyad's Attack, Genesis Blow, Definite Chords, and the individual special Cyrenix spells was a nice touch. However, the manifestation of the spells were underwhelming. They were all mostly just the same attack with a different name. It felt like every time they attacked, the magic went too slow or too easy and when it hit, it seemed like it wouldn't even shake an end. Like there was no threat in the attack. The animation of the attack was also a letdown. 
Very few Zoran spells actually impress me. Some of the names are just lame, unoriginal, and too repetitive. I mean, Nature Kick, Morphix Kick, Techno Kick. Ah, how about my attack? It's called the Ass Kick. Harmonix has a very eye popping transformation sequence. The imagery is absolutely stunning, the colors are vibrant, the movements are smooth, and the backgrounds look incredibly artistic. However, it suffers from the same thing the outfits suffer from. It follows the same formula for every girl. In previous transformations, I would have to explain the transformation sequence of each girl separately. However, with Harmonix, one explanation can be applied to all six fairies. Intro display in the fabric, fairy shown dancing with the fabric, strings tie around fairy's legs, fairy twirls for the camera a bit, wings form, wings become skirt accessories that sparkles towards the camera, fairy gets wings and goes in for the final supermodel pose. Repeat. The same thing can be said about Cyranix, but with Harmonix it is much more obvious. Another disappointing factor was the lack of individual power manifestation with the inter sequences. If you don't know the show, and you watch the transformations without the girls saying their names and their power source, you would never know what their power was. But for whatever reason, Harmonix still works. Cyranix had two transformation sequences, a CGI one for the infinite ocean and a regular animation one for the rest. The 3D transformation rocks. I can live without the marionette effect the animation gives the character, and some facial expressions are less than appealing. And the close similarities of some movements and even more, the reuse of the same animation for more than one girl could have been left out. However, it was a win, considering. Each individual sequence was short, to the point, and generally nicely done. It's still no 3D enchantix, but it's a great sequence. Cue the 2D sequence. We were originally teased to bits and pieces of this transformation, and what we were seeing was looking pretty good, which made us all very curious to see what the finished product would look like. But then, the full transformations were released, and... I mean, it's not bad, but it's not all that good either. I like how energetic it is, but there's too much going on. There is a lot of unnecessary twirling and flying around and not enough, well, transforming going on. And this also made the transformation too long. And the flash animation leaves a lot to be desired. Of course, it's the same animation used for harmonics, but the movements in harmonics are more tame, while in Cyranix the girls are just all over the place, making the animation look lazy and cheap. Both songs were produced by Maurizio Daniello, while the lyrics were written by Peter Zizzo and Elisa Rotzelli, and performed by the latter. There's not much I can say about harmonics. It's a nice tune and I like the pop rock vibe to it. My favorite part is the intro. The harmonies, no pun intended, are excellent. That part alone gives you an underwater feel. However, the song as a whole doesn't really stand out so much. It's quite forgettable. Now, Cyranix has not been doing so well in this dissection. But I think we can all agree, where Cyranix really shines is the dynamite song. This is by far the single best transformation team the show has ever had. It's fun, it's upbeat, it's got some amazing melodies with great effects and the vocals are on point. It's the first team to go in this musical direction, being a bit more dance pop rather than the usual punkish pop. I am obsessed with this song. Great musicality, strong vocals, proper underwater vibe with good lyrics for its purpose. Everything about this song is right. And the original Italian version? Even better. The song alone makes Cyranix worthwhile. Bravo. All in all, Harmonix has got Cyranix beat in most areas, having 3 out of 4 points. But Cyranix gets major points for the epic song alone. This may sound a bit weird, but even with everything said, I'd still pick Cyranix over Harmonix. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's that transformation that I just love to hate or hate to love. I am WCD and this has been Wings Club Dissected.